Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and as iOS 7 is a brand new operating system we're going to be running a new series of videos just showing you all the little ins and outs of iOS 7, showing you how to use it all properly and the first one I wanted to show you is something that you will have noticed has changed completely since previous versions of iOS. Now before, with iOS 6 and anything before that, I think it was iOS 3.1 or iOS 3 that they first introduced Spotlight Search and what you would do, if you're on your first home screen, you can either slide uh, from left to right or hit your home key again and it will take you to the spotlight search. Now you'll notice that doesn't exist like that on, the I on iOS 7. What you need to do instead is regardless of which home screen you happen to be on, you can just drag downwards and you'll see that the spotlight search will come up in the top in this translucent sort of field. Your keyboard will pop up and to dismiss it, you just slide it back up again and you can do it from anywhere it can be from any screen it's always there it's really convenient very easy to get to now what you can search for uh, on here is is almost limitless well it's not limitless but there's a lot you can do so for instance I can search for messages from uh, our director David and you'll notice that it comes up with contacts if I put David in it will come up with music and if I keep on going it will find mail from anyone called David and if I keep on going it will find messages from all sorts of people as long as it's got David in it it will select those so you can find all sorts of things in there now you can also find apps so I've, I don't know where I've, which folder I've put Infinity Blade in for instance I can look for Infinity Blade 3 and it shows up on there and I can just tap it launch it open and that's that. It's very simple. Um, you can also use it obviously to find contacts like I've said before. So um, if I wanted to find my local Domino's restaurant, which I think I have saved in my contacts. Yes, I have. I can just select Domino's Pizza, goes into my contact book and then I can just ring them from there. So you can really use it for a lot. Now, personally, I've never really used Spotlight Search for anything. And so um, it was always a wasted feature, so to have it on its own bespoke home screen before was really a waste of time. But having it just convenient like that, if I ever lose anything, I can use that. Or if you're trying to find anything else, you can obviously you can use Siri as well if you want to. But that's a really, really quick example of to how to use Spotlight. Now the only frustrating thing is, because it only searches within your iOS stock apps, if you use a different email client like MailPilot or Mailbox, it won't be able to search in those. So if you want to make full use of this using it to search for your emails, you do need to be using your Mail app as your bespoke email client. But apart from that, that's pretty much it. It's a very basic but very convenient tool, very easy to get to. What I will say is don't try, obviously don't drag from the top or the very bottom of the screen upwards because then you launch notification center and control center. But anyway, very easy, very convenient. If you want to ask me anything else about iOS 7, please feel free. I'm at CIP underscore Cam, and I will see you again soon.